another sunny day here in the Portland metro area. And Riley, it'd be nice to keep this going a little while longer if we could. Yeah, and we will too, that's for sure. Today, of course, we saw the sunshine, a little bit of a breeze out there, so that made us feel a little bit cooler. But I'll tell you what, today is National Walking the Dog Day. So maybe you want to get outdoors and enjoy the nice sunset that we're going to be having and walking your furry friend. Let's go through a time lapse and show you what it looked like today. Again, lots of sunshine. As we got to the afternoon hours, we actually saw a little bit of high cloud cover pushing toward uh, the south from the north, and that's what you're going to find especially on the west side out towards the coast. We hit a high of 56 today, so that was a little bit cooler than what we saw the last couple of days where normal should be 53, so we were still above average. Now, we started this morning at 42 degrees, but other areas actually started in the mid to upper 30s if you were sheltered from that wind where normal should be right around 37. There are your record 64 degrees back in 2002. We had a record low back in 2010 of 27 degrees. You're probably still noticing the east winds out there. They're going to keep going for the next uh, several hours most likely into the evening hours and then really start to lighten up uh, tomorrow. In fact, we saw winds gusting about 32 miles per hour in Portland today and up on Mount Hood right around 7,000 feet. We had gusts this morning of 70 miles per hour. Temperatures around the state right now colder east of the mountains. We're sitting at 34 in Bend, 50 in Astoria, 56 degrees in Salem. So here's the uh, planner for the evening hours. You're going to find some high clouds again for the next couple of hours. Still going to remain breezy through the evening. Generally clear skies through 11 o'clock, 44 your temperature there. Now waking up tomorrow morning Morning, right around 37, so it's going to be a little chilly. Outlying areas again could be in the lower 30s, so just be aware of that. If you have plants sitting outdoors, want to bring those in. Tomorrow, though, we'll hit right around 60 degrees under mostly sunny skies. So the rain cloud forecast picking up on some of those clouds again out towards the coast, but overnight tonight we're all going to really see mostly clear skies. You can follow your timeline here. I'm going to advance through tomorrow evening, 7:15. It's going to be a clear night once again. Once we get into Tuesday, we'll see uh, maybe some morning fog, afternoon sunshine, and then we start to see a disturbance coming in by Wednesday. Here's 245 in the afternoon, so we'll see clouds increasing with a chance of showers when we start to get into the evening hours. But tomorrow, though, it's going to be nice sunny skies. Temperatures a little bit warmer, 57 for you in Seaside and 58 in Tillamook. The winds will be lighter as well. Going to go 60 for McMinnville. You'll wake up right around 30 degrees, waking up around 26 in Kelso and 27 in Salem, ending up right around 59 degrees. Tomorrow morning, Ben, waking up around 15 degrees, ending up at 43. We'll keep it wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. From there all the way to Pendleton at Baker City, ending up right around 47. And the snow level actually goes up tomorrow to around 7,000 feet once we start to get into the evening hour. So government camp right around 39, and the gorge will have those east winds a little bit lighter than what we saw today from 10 to 20 miles per hour. So we'll start to see that pattern changing by Wednesday when we start to see those showers moving in. Snow levels between 3,000 and 4,000 feet, and we'll stay uh, generally in the lower 50s through the weekend, Ken. All right. Seems like the plants out there are a little confused about what to do, too. Should we budge? Should we not? But what? Exactly, I know. Yeah, that's why if you have uh, you know pots out there, go ahead and bring them in. Just be on the safe side. All right.